outside. You are being built. Everyone is working hard to get the job finished on time. Duncan's feeling impatient. Get a move off the couch. Come costly and rusty. You're so slow, I'll finish first. Duncan boasted to Scarlow. Scarlow, he was calm. A little later, he met Rusty at the new park station. Duncan thinks she's fat, Scarlow he said. And she's just a bossy boiler. Better safe than fast, Rusty agreed. Duncan drew into the station. He was all puffed up and pleased with himself. I finished first, he winked proudly. In that case, Fisher Topham Hat, I've got another job for you. You're to collect the elephant on the sidings and take it to the park. Yes, sir, chuffed Dutchman. This elephant is very important. You must be very careful. When Duncan saw the elephant, he was surprised. Why, it's only a statue, he said. This is an easy job. You must wait for the break back, said the station master. The statue is very heavy. Nonsense, huffed Duncan to his driver. I have pushed heavier loads than this plenty of time. Let's go, Duncan, said his driver. But we must be careful. So they left, but without the break back. Sir Topham had arrived. He was cross. I told you to be careful. You should have waited for the brake band, he said sternly. I'm sorry, sir, mumbled Duncan. He felt very embarrassed. Duncan was prepared to dive for the opening of Elephant Park. He was very surprised to see the statue was still standing in the lake. Everyone loves the elephant in the lake, said Lady Pat, even if it wasn't a mistake. Hooray for Duncan's mistake! 